because I can. But as you see here now in Dubai, you cannot. They have made it illegal. Now, a little while ago, quite a while ago actually, I saw this coming and I pointed you to my website where you could purchase the Guy Fox mask because I saw this coming again. Why? Because they were trying to make it illegal as you see from this video, Fort Lauderdale and in Florida, in fact, it is illegal, from my understanding, to wear any mask. And since I put that video out, you'll see that my website has changed drastically. It was only a five-page site then. It looked kind of sloppy, real generic. Now, with a lot of effort, it's expanded greatly. And the masks are still available. I don't know how for how much longer. They want to take away everything. And the power of being anonymous and taking action is really catching hold. It's not just hackers anymore, as you know. So, the link's going to be below to the article that I just showed you and to this page on the Operation Stop the Bullshit page. Come down here for five bucks or less and get your own mask because, again, we don't know how much longer they're going to even make them available. They're taking away everything. While we're here, let's listen to a little review of the Federal Reserve, shall we? The Federal Reserve's policies are systematically moving the country to enrich one tenth of one percent of the population. The Federal Reserve has deliberately driven tens of millions of people into poverty. The Federal Reserve is responsible for crimes against humanity. The Federal Reserve gave trillions of American taxpayer dollars, in secrecy, to the people who were most responsible for causing our economic crisis. Our tax dollars were handed out as all time. Record-breaking bonuses to top executives at the too-big-to-fail global banks. The Federal Reserve gave American taxpayer dollars to foreign banks and corporations. The Federal Reserve directly subsidized tax evasion by funneling taxpayer dollars into the Cayman Islands. The Federal Reserve gave American tax dollars to their primary dealer banks, so the banks could then lend that same money back to the U.S. government at higher interest rates, leading to significant profits for the banks, at the further expense of the American public. Through bailout programs, the Federal Reserve socialized financial losses onto American taxpayers and privatized profits into the hands of global banks. The Federal Reserve aids and abets trillions of dollars in accounting fraud. The Federal Reserve routinely manipulates the stock market. The Federal Reserve deliberately caused inflation in the price of food gas and basic necessities while devaluing the dollar. The Federal Reserve represents the central planning force behind a global banking cartel that has deliberately impoverished people throughout the world. U.S. politicians have not taken action to break up the Federal Reserve and the too big to fail banks. U.S. politicians have not taken action to prosecute the people who caused our economic crisis. U.S. politicians have not taken action to end the system of political bribery, the campaign finance and lobbying racket which allows global bankers to control our political process. Democrats have failed us. Republicans have failed us. No one is defending our interests. We cannot remain passive while our future is going up in flames. It is time for us to stand up for ourselves. It is time for you to stand up for yourself. We must restore the rule of law and fight back against the organized criminal class. You see, they know to expect us.
Fighting.